Welcome to LBPostSports.com and highlights from this year's Game of the Century as Polly faces Lakewood and if you want to win the Moore League, you've got to win this game between two powerhouses, Raul Laura and Thad McNeil getting their guys ready. There's Lakewood running back Ali Long and Polly quarterback Chase Hales. You know, Polly had beat Lakewood 28 years in a row, but the tides finally turned last year, so Lakewood looking to start a streak of their own. But this game would not start off real well for them. First drive of the game, it's Polly fullback Jeremiah Hollowell getting a carry from three yards out to punch it in and give Polly a really early 7 0 lead in the first quarter. Uh, when Lakewood gets the ball, quarterback Tyler Schultz flushed out of the pocket, finally finds somebody downfield, but a huge hit by David Price, the sophomore. That Polly secondary played great all night, and you can see they're pumped up here. They held Schultz to just 96 yards passing on the whole night. They're going to force a Lakewood punt, which is usually good news for Polly because they've got dynamic Randall Goforth back there fielding punts for him, but it's not going to go real well. He comes into traffic on this play and gets stripped by Nathaniel Simon. That's Lakewood ball. We're going the other way with great field position for the Lancers. Same drive now. Schultz finds Darius Powell down the middle. And look at that speed. He takes it inside the five-yard line of Polly, putting Lakewood in great position a few plays later. Watch Rashad Wadu go up and over the top. Polly thought they had a fumble, but refs say touchdown, and we're tied at seven in the first quarter. Into the second quarter now, Polly was not about to slow down at all. Get ready for the Richard Smith show to the right side for about 20 yards. Hales finds Smith again, this time on the left side, inside the 10-yard line. Polly would get a penalty that pushed him back a little bit. So Hales says, you know what, let's try Smith again, this time with a nice spin move. And then inside the 5, down to the 1-yard line. A few plays later, Hales says, you know what, I'll just take it myself. And he goes in for the score. Polly, 14-7 lead. Lakewood would try to make something happen uh, before the halftime. As the second quarter is joined to a close, they get all tricky. Schultz has a man downfield, but once again, there's great coverage by the Poly secondary. Lakewood coaches wanted a flag, but they get no love from the reps, and we go into halftime with Poly leading 14 to seven, but it wouldn't take long for fireworks to start in the second half. Allie Long didn't have a lot of success rushing the ball, but he breaks up the middle here, goes 100 yards with the opening kickoff for a touchdown in the third quarter, all of a sudden, we are tied again at 14. It seemed like Polly had been dominating, but tie game and the red and black are loving it. Look at the fans. Their celebration would be brief, though, because Polly would come right back. Chase Hales really had a great night tonight. Here, he's going to find tight end Ernest Petway with a bullet over the middle for the 19-yard touchdown. That makes it 21-14, Polly, and they wouldn't stop there. A few possessions later, it's Donald Bird down the sideline, probably really showing all of their weapons here. Several receivers contributed. He was whistled out of bounds at the nine yard line, but no matter, thanks to this perfectly placed fade to Josiah Blandon, gives Polly a 27 to 14 lead. They would not relinquish on a big third down chance for Lakewood. The ball's deflected and falls harmlessly to the ground. And listen to Polly fans. Lakewood supporters head for the exits. Polly is now in the Moore League driver's seat after a huge 27-14 win.